So you may have recently heard about Kajira, got interested in this protocol, but not understood exactly what it does. Well, there's many facets of Kajira and Ghost is just one of them that we're explaining today. It's a money market. So this brings together borrowers and lenders and the ability to earn interest. So you could think of this as the same structure as a bank, but me and you can play both sides here and actually earn interest without a middleman. So let's jump into the interface. So here is the landing page of Kajira's Ghost. Note on the top right hand corner, I have my wallet logged in and you can see there are funds available on here, which you're going to need to have if you want to utilize the platform. So let's start with why would you want to use a money market? Note the tabs over here as well to go to the borrow page and the lend page. But first, why would you want to be a borrower and why would you want to be a lender? Well, utilizing a money market allows you to free up some capital. So for example, on the borrow side here, you can put your portfolio to work without actually having to sell it. So for example, you post up some collateral, maybe in the form of the Kajira token, rather than sell the token to get some dollars, I can actually just take a loan against that and then pay for an in real life expense. So this means you maintain your overall exposure to the token, but you're able to take a loan out against it. Then additional to this, you would also want to use it here to borrow in order to gain additional exposure, i.e. be leveraged either to the long side or to the short side. That means you deposit your collateral, take out a loan against the collateral, and then potentially buy more of the underlying collateral asset or another asset to gain additional exposure. And then we have the lending side. This is where you would lend out your collateral to others. This obviously provides more liquidity to the protocol overall and it means you can earn interest on your idle assets as well. For example, with stable coins you could lend them with a low rate of return but also a very low risk profile. As we know Kajira has a fantastic liquidation engine called Walker, so you won't be left holding the bag. So let's start off with the borrow tab here and I'm going to show you a quick tutorial how to borrow some assets. So from the interface you can see we have the featured markets tab so these are the popular markets being utilized by others and then we have this the detailed section view where you can either toggle this on or leave it off. If you leave it off this is the default view here. From here you can click on the collateral types that can be deposited and then on the right hand side, which assets can be borrowed against those collaterals. Personally, I prefer the detailed view. You can see an overview of absolutely everything on here if we just go down a little bit. So for an example here, this one is staked atom. You can see the total market here, 217 staked atom have been deposited. There's 174 available to be borrowed and the interest rate will be 3.9%. If you wish to borrow some staked atom, you would then click this button here, which states borrow. On this left-hand side, you can see the deposit type, which is USK, the Kajira stablecoin. So this means you have to deposit stables and borrow staked atom. Now I've previously done some borrowing of Axelar USDC. This is USDC stablecoin wrapped on the Kajira chain. And so I'm gonna show you why I utilized this previously and how you can do so yourself as well. So overview of the market, 22,000 USDC have been deposited. There's 15,000 available to be borrowed at an interest rate of 5%. And in order to borrow these stablecoins here, I must deposit some Kajira. So I'm gonna to go to this button here. It will say borrow AXL USDC for you, but I can manage position here as I do have a bit of dust on this account. So this is the vault, the Kuji to AXL USDC vault, and this is where we can create a position here. So I will have to deposit some Kajira tokens. So this is the deposit area. Within this, you can use these neat features here to take a percentage of your overall liquid assets and deposit them in here, or you can just type in the amounts, whichever is easiest for yourself. I'm going to deposit 100 Kajira tokens here. So note, the collateral price, i.e. the collateral is my Kuji tokens here, they're worth 67 cents. And then the debt price is the price of each of these AXL USDC. It's a stable coin, so it is of course $1. Now the interest rate is here at 5%. This means if I borrow for one whole year, I'll have to pay back an additional 5% on top of the overall position amount. Now the position amount here is determined by myself. There is a maximum amount though. So the most I can borrow is this at 49.5% loan to value ratio. So I'm getting pretty much 50% of my deposited Kuji dollar amount as USDC there, but the liquidation price here is 66 cents. 
So that would only have to tick down by one penny and I would get liquidated on that position. So that of course is way too degen. So I wanna bring this right down at least to this ratio here at around 50% I would suggest. That would be a lot more safer. So collateral price, 67 cents. My liquidation price now is down to 34 cents and that would let me borrow $16.75. I'm actually just gonna borrow 15 bucks here. So 15 bucks borrowed on a 100 Kuji deposit gives me a loan to value ratio of 22%. And now my liquidation price is 30 cents. I'm fairly confident Kujira won't go that low, but I will maintain capital on the sidelines just in case Kuji gets close to this area. And then I could top this vault up to ensure I never do get liquid. The borrow fee is 0.02% only. So that's just three pennies on this position. And as we say, the interest rate is 5% down there. So it's a case of filling in the blanks here. We know the interest terms. We know the amount I want to deposit, how many dollars I'm going to get back and the variables in play here in terms of my liquidation price. So the next thing to do would be to open this position here. So the big shiny blue button is what we will need to click. But just to show you in my wallet currently in terms of USDC, I have currently 35 cents only. But when we open this position here, I'm about to make that $15 extra, so $15.35. So you just click approve as per the pop-up from my Kepler wallet. The word success just popped up on screen. It tells me now my loan risk is low. LTV is 22.36%. And if we just go back up to my wallet here, you can see now $15 are now additionally available for me. So let's go back to the borrow page and show you how you can see your open positions. So on the far right hand side now, where it says borrow then said asset, we're looking for the manage button to pop up. So as we get down to the Axelar USDC page, we will start to see that appear, which is coming up just about now. Highlights our attention with the dot over here and the manage position in the blue on the right. Let's go back into this. I wanna show you how to close out this position. So to close out an open position, we need to repay the USDC amount so we can unlock our QG from the vault. So think of it as USDC being the key to open this vault and get our 100 QGs back. So bottom left hand corner, the repay AXL USDC is what we need to do. If we wanna repay 100%, you can see down here, it's gonna cost us $15 and a fraction of a penny down there as well, due to the fact there's a very small incremental amount of interest that we owe so far. 5% per annum, we've just loaned this for what, maybe a few minutes. So from here, I can click on rebalance loan and then approve it in the wallet. This pays down my 15 bucks. You can see the previous loan risk that was on low has now all disappeared in terms of that bar being filled out. And if I just refresh the screen, USDC borrowed is now zero. I still have my Kuji deposited, however, so I want to withdraw these back. So on the remove Kuji tab over here, I'll click minus 99%, but I want to actually remove the 99 and then type in 100 so I can remove absolutely everything. Again, rebalance loan and confirm in wallet. Then you can see in the top right hand corner, we are back to square one where we were. Same balance of Kuji and USK as at the start of the video. Now over to the lend market here. So this is where you can deposit your tokens and earn interest on top of them as we provide liquidity to this overall ecosystem. You can see all of the vaults are on screen here. And what I would do is toggle down by the APR to see what is currently lucrative. Now you can see the most lucrative here is to actually deposit stable coins in the form of USK. And if I lend my stable coins to this vault here, I'm gonna get 3.62% APR. So I would click the lend button here. Now this is a very simple interface. You can see the maximum amount of USK I have in my wallet. And this obviously means the maximum amount I can deposit into the lending protocol. I'm just gonna tap in 100 USK and then I just click on lend US. K. So I'm gonna lend 100 stable coins and start to earn interest on these. Again, approve in wallet. And then once this goes successful over here, I can show you how this changes in my overall wallet in the top right hand corner. Success up here now, I now have X USK. So the X denotes that this is an interest bearing asset and this number will go up now over time. So if I leave this in for a few days here, this will start to tick up. 
Now, if we scroll down through the vaults here, you can see the Your Deposit Value tab. Now, the one that I've just deposited in is neatly behind my head here, but you can see it will have this kind of look to it. It says 100 USK, I can click on it, and then I can withdraw my USK back to my wallet just by clicking Max here and then withdraw and confirming in the wallet again. So there we have it, we've done quite a lot there. We've borrowed, we've lent, and we've shown how you can earn interest on your idle assets. Ghost is just one of the features offered by Kajira. I will cover all of them, so do stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.